Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, 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 It's growing on me. So nice of you to stop by, Kevin. Enjoy your day. I hope it's productive. Thank you, Raymond. I hope your day is productive as well. PDA in the office? My, my. Couldn't help myself. Hmm. Oh, may I please use the precinct facilities before I head to work? Yes, thank you for asking for permission. Thank you for granting it. Womp. There it is. Gotta say, I could have used a little more oomph on the womp. That's the oomphiest womp we'll get. So what's going on? Why'd you want to meet in private? I need your help with a case. Three antique coins were stolen from my classics department at Columbia. So why not ask Captain Holt for help on the case? Wait, are you guys getting a divorce? I can handle it. This doesn't bring up any weird issues for me. No, it's nothing like that. Raymond's a brilliant detective. It's just, when a case involves me, he can get a little over-emotional. You remember the safe house? Oh yeah, he went crazy. But I also remember you and me becoming best friends and watching every Nick Cage movie ever made. Can you still quote them all? No, I purged myself of that nonsense. I bet it's still in there. That's not, we'll see. We There's a chance it's in there. Chance of zero. I'd put money that maybe it's there. You're losing your money. Okay. So, will you help me? I don't know, I want to, but keeping a secret from Holt, that's a lot of pressure. Hmm, am I remembering correctly? Don't you eat pressure for breakfast? <gasps> Nick Cage in The Rock. We are best friends. I am so in. Oh, no, that's Raymond. That's how he opens the door. Kevin, are you still in here? Uh, yes, Raymond, I'm in the stall. Uh, some tickets were just released for Mahler's Fourth Symphony this weekend. Great, that sounds great. Let's do it. Fantastic. Now, which section do you prefer? The first tier, the second tier, the third tier? The first tier. Now, which section of the first tier? Right, left, right, right. center, Center? Just any section is fine. <laughs> any section. Well, someone had pepper on their eggs this morning. I'll buy the tickets. <laughs> any section. Ah, perfect. What? What happened? You know where the bracelet is? No, Kevin has arrived with proof that I am the only two-time winner of the highest. Here's your coming friend, Raymond. Mm. I don't have time for this, sir. I'm gonna go search the first floor. And I will search the second floor. We are an inseparable team. That was a devious fib. I'm betraying her even as we speak. Hey, Kev. Diaz and I are covertly working together. She snuck up through the vents. This is a major reveal. I feel like you're not appreciating it. I don't like these heists or what they bring out in you. Oh, clam it, Kevin. Clam it? Cheddar, perhaps we should leave. No, Cheddar stays. He still has an important role to play. Give me Mr. Hootsworth. No one would ever think of looking for the bracelet in Cheddar's favorite chew toy. Or do you mean Jake's favorite chew toy? <laughs> well, thank God no one was around to hear that. Oh, Kevin's here. You both look so upset. Oh no, did they stop funding the arts? They did, but that doesn't matter anymore. Nothing does. Cheddar has been kidnapped. Someone took our fluffy boy. Oh my god, what happened? Well, Cheddar and I walked to the bakery together. We shared a plain scone, then we went to the park and I let him off leash. He never came back. Someone took our fluffy boy. Right, you mentioned that. Now, just to be clear, you didn't actually see someone take him, right? So there's a chance Cheddar just ran away? You know, like some dogs do. Cheddar isn't some dog. He would never do that. Someone took our- Fluffy boy, yes, I understand. I need you to drop everything. Nothing in the world is as important to me as this dog. I wouldn't say nothing. For example, you and I are very close. We don't have time for this. Okay. And kidnapping's the first 48 hours are the most crucial. Right, and in dog years, that's only seven hours. Why would you say that? This is why everyone prefers that dog to you. Everyone? Okay, look, I'm just saying that before we jump to any conclusions, we should consider the fact that there's no actual proof that someone kidnapped Cheddar. It's a text. It reads, I have kidnapped your dog. I see. Well, that seems like pretty hard proof. That's good. Good proof. Hello, sir. How'd you find us out? Mahler's Fourth Symphony. He'd never sit in just any section. I might. I'm flexible. Oh, really? You'd sit center left in Timpani Alley? I'll purchase those tickets right away. No, don't. Fine. Jake is helping me with a burglary here at the university, and I asked him not to tell you. Is this about St. Augustine? Yes. What's going on? He's embarrassed of me. Last Christmas, the classics department threw a holiday party. I had one drink too many and utterly humiliated myself. And that was the point St. Augustine was making in Consolation of Philosophy. Yeah, sounds super humiliating, saying something smart. Smart? I confused St. Augustine with Boethius. I might as well have stepped on a rake and bonked myself on the forehead. The problem wasn't what you said. It was that Dean Alistair pointed out your mistake and you lost your damn mind. I misremembered it because I'm reading both simultaneously. One book is too few for me. Where's the best point? It was quite the kerfuffle. The problem is, is that I get flustered and defensive because I know how they all see me. It's Kevin's working class bimbo. I can't imagine that's what they think. It is. Really? Obviously, I know that they're wrong, but they put you in your own head and you're not yourself around them. I'm sorry, I was just trying to protect you. Yes, of course, thank you for saving me from myself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go sit by the pool and read some fiction, like the bimbo that I am. There's a pool here? 
Okay, Kevin, we need to recreate your morning and see if we can find some clues. All right, Cheddar and I entered on the east side of the park over past those trees. Oh, how he loved those trees. Jake, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, you can do this. I'm right here with you. We're gonna get through it together. Now let's go. <clears throat> oh. Hey, Kev, bud. Couldn't help but notice that when I said let's go, you didn't go. You stayed here and stared at that bench. Tedder loved benches. He'd run up to them, sniff their legs, paw at them. With his paws, sure, that's what you paw with. <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is impossible. Everything I see reminds me of Cheddar. The grass, the asphalt, squirrels. No. Cheddar loves squirrels. Stop. He loves to chase them. I suppose I should say loved. He'd never get there. Jay, like... Kevin, stop, all right? We need to get over to that gate and recreate your morning. And if seeing all these things is too much, then just focus only on me, <clears throat> all right? Stare straight into my eyes. Very good, I will stare straight into your eyes. Okay. Oh, wow, piercing. Hmm. Okay, so let's do this. We are headed to the East Gate. We're doing great. I think this is working. I can do this. Here we go. I'm doing it. You're looking away. No, I'm not. Stop looking away. I'm not. Don't look away. But I see leaves. No! Cheddar loved playing in leaves. Didn't matter what kind. Oak, maple, alum. Wait. I hate to cut you off, but look what I found. Security camera. Cheddar loves security cameras. How is that possible? And a big round of applause for Janitor Randy for recovering our precious coin. Don't applaud for that man! What's going on? What's going on is Captain Holt just solved this case. What's there left to solve? We found the coin in Professor Port's desk. He's the thief. Oh, you'd like everyone to believe that, wouldn't you, Dean Alistair? Or should I say, General Parminian? Raymond, are you causing a kerfuffle? Yes, sometimes the moment calls for a kerfuffle. No, no moment calls for a kerfuffle. You know my feelings on this. Dean Alistair framed Professor Port to get rid of a rival, just as Alexander got rid of Parminian. Preposterous. Do you even have a shred of evidence to back up that claim? Oh, we've got more than a shred. Look at these photos. Here, a footprint from the scene of the crime left by the thief. And here, another print made yesterday by you. You've been caught, Alistair. Is it happening? Caught by me. It is happening. Me and my rock-hard brain. It happened. Oh, Raymond, look around. These shoes I'm wearing with their unique footprint. We all have them. They were the departmental gift this Christmas. They're actually very funny. They have Achilles printed on the heel. I don't know if I would call that very funny. I'm surprised you didn't know about them. Kevin must have gotten a pair. Oh, I remember what happened. You had to leave the Christmas party before they were handed out. Why was that again? Oh, yes, the kerfuffle. But what about the autobiography of Persimmonins you were taunting us with? I suppose I can see how holding any book would seem like a taunt to you. I own a book. But I don't think Raymond is remembering the story correctly. Alexander didn't see Parminion as a rival. He killed him over a dispute about his son. Oh no, it's Boethius all over again. At least you've got one thing, right? You do have a rock-hard brain. Because that's bad. Everyone knows that a brain should be soft and wet. I wanted to say that, but Jake told me not to. Yeah, because it's gross. Well, hello there, Raymond. It's me, Kevin. And I am Detective Jacob Peralta. He didn't have anything else to wear, so we just switched. He understands. If we're gonna pull this off, we need to teach you how to move, talk, and act exactly like Kevin. In other words, we have ourselves a Pygmalion situation. Exactly, a pig mailman situation. Right. It'll be okay. Well, it'll be okay. Let's get started. Yes, let's get started. It's getting worse. Spot on, Kevin. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. No, you're too excited. The warbler is a common bird. Huh. And then I said, which metamorphosis, Kafka or Ovid? <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Oh. So that's the joke. Now you tell it. Oh, OK. <clears throat> so a professor walks into a rare books collection. No, you've ruined it. Now it's not funny. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Ugh, not excited enough. They may be common, but they're still birds. The 92nd Street Y had a wonderful symposium on just that topic. That's it? You're getting it? Ah, cool, 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 cool. Oh, don't say cool. Instead, say indeed. Oh, indeed, 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 indeed. <laughs> That's weird. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Yes! That's the right level of excitement for such a bird. You've captured the essence of Kevin. You've done it. Correction. I've accomplished it. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, 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 indeed. It's growing on me. Yeah, I stole those coins. Can't believe you bought that old story. They underestimated you, Randy, just as they underestimated Raymond Holt. Well, you guys haven't been that great to me either. Well, you gotta teach people how you wanna be treated, Randy, Dr. Phil, RIP. The point is Captain Holt solved the case when no one else could. He's actually been stealing from these archives for years. You've been asleep at the wheel, Alistair. You're an embarrassment. Really? Well, at least I've never confused St. Augustine 
with Boethius. Oh, who gives a rat's ass about Boethius? Wesley. What are you doing, Kevin? I'm creating a kerfuffle. Oh, damn. Sure, my husband is a hot piece of ass, but he is so much more than just that. Raymond Holt is as smart as anyone in this department, but he chooses to use his intelligence to make our city a better place. One day, I hope to live up to the standard you set. You make me want to have a wetter brain. Oh, Kevin. Y'all are hella specific.